Alan Siekman of the Japanese Motorcycle Heritage Foundation. So tell me, Alan, what are you guys doing here at the show? Well, the Japanese Motorcycle Heritage Foundation uh, is sponsoring the Asian motorcycle uh, bikes at this, this event here in San Jose this year. Great, and I know you have a few bikes here. Do you want to tell me a little bit about those? Sure, well, there's uh, probably about 100 Japanese bikes here. It's a all Asian, but as it turns out, we really only have Japanese bikes here today. Uh, we have had some others from a different Asian countries in the past, but today it's all Japanese. There's bikes that range from 1953 all the way to 1985, and there's uh, unrestored originals as well as a custom modified uh, sport bikes. So it's a, a really nice mix. So tell me a bit about the bikes you brought here yourself. Well, today I brought two motorcycles uh, just for exhibit. I brought a 1953 Yamaguchi and also a 1955 Kalida. Of the two, the Kalida actually has a very interesting history. It's the first motorcycle made by Suzuki. Uh, Suzuki was a weaving loom company and they wanted to branch out into motorcycles and so they designed some motorized bicycles and now uh, the first motorcycle is here behind me at 55. Uh, they called it Kalida which is a Japanese uh, term for Eureka. This is it. This is the one. Uh, because they weren't really sure if they wanted to put the Suzuki name on a motorcycle when they had this successful weaving loom company. So it's a very interesting bike. It's original, unrestored from 1955 was ridden a lot, has 25,000 kilometers and uh, starts right up. I could ride it right out of here if I wanted to. It's, it's a really kind of a fun bike and an interesting period piece that kind of shows the, the history of the Japanese bikes that nobody in this building has ever seen this bike before. So it's kind of fun. I can certainly tell people are admiring it. Thank you for bringing them. You're welcome. It's a lot of fun. Well, tell us where we can find out more. Well, you can get information on the website. It's probably the best way. And unfortunately, it's a long name. It's the Japanese Motorcycle Heritage Foundation.com. Uh, you can do .org as well. I have both, both sites. But, uh, but that's the, the best way to find it. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome.